Ever wondered what bodybuilders look like when angry? Hint, imagine the Hulk. Today we bring you some truly huffing and puffing bodybuilders. Hold on to your seats because it's far from pleasant. Let's jump right into it. Number 6. Massive Gym Owner Gets Mad For what gym owner Reese Keen lacks in good judgment, he spent hours and hours in the gym compensating with muscle power. A reporter called Steve Marshall discovered what happens when the tattoo-laden man fails to find words to express himself. Mr. Keen was courteous when Marshall first rolled up with a camera crew to ask why he thought he was above Sydney's tough COVID-19 lockdown measures when no other gyms were. But his temper turned nasty when Marshall asked him to consider if he was putting people's health and safety at risk. There's a history between the pair. Mr. Marshall outed Mr. Keen a few years ago after young women accused him of using his standing as a powerlifting great to seduce them at a Christian gym. Mr. Keen's wife Kaylee stayed loyal, tying the knot with her bulked-up boy in a glamorous wedding shortly after the damning expose aired. Guess there's no surprise Reese lost his temper when he saw that Marshall was out to get him once again. Mr. Keen continued to put noses out of joint in the world of weightlifting, keeping his gym's doors open and poaching customers while other gym owners locked down for the public's good. Number 5. Guy Cisternino Explodes in Anger Guy Cisternino has gone viral as he was caught yelling at gym patrons during his training. The video clip of the two 12 bodybuilders has been making the rounds on the internet causing quite a commotion. Bodybuilding at the highest levels requires a great deal of focus and dedication. You cannot expect to be one of the best in the world and half-ass your training. You have to be willing to push yourself to the limit. The intensity required in training is on a whole other level. It's what veteran bodybuilder Guy Cisternino understands well. During a recent leg day training session, Cisternino exploded in anger at two gym patrons. The reason for his explosive rage was due to the other gym goers breaking his concentration during his set. Cisternino confronted the two male patrons as the confrontation intensified. It's clear that he was distracted by the actions of the patrons. What's unclear is exactly what the two men were doing that was so egregious that Cisternino needed to confront them. Number 4. Trainer Rages on Client In the video, we can see a trainer beginning to instruct the client on how to perform an exercise, but when it appears the client is not listening, he goes into a full-blown rage mode and begins to throw things around. After seeing this clip, one thing is for sure, though most bodybuilders enter the gym intending to build their muscular strength, mental strength should not be ignored. They must be sure that any aggressive feelings are channeled towards positive aims and not destructive behavior. Number 3. Kai Green vs. Phil Health Bodybuilding advances through its rivalries. Across the field of professional athletics where genetics, aging, or injury can define a career, bodybuilding stands apart as one of the few sports where a champion can be almost unbeatable for a decade or more. So when two competitors come head-to-head -head and one is marginally better, it can be near impossible for the other to overtake them. For this reason, bodybuilding rivalries emerge rather easily. The rivalry between Kai Green and Phil Heath is well documented. For several years, Kai tried to unseat Heath as the Olympia champion. While he always came close, Kai was unable to defeat his bitter rival. Heath was able to secure his position as Olympia champion, pushing back every challenge that has come his way. There's been a strange parallel between the careers of Phil Heath and Kai Green. It started with their initial Pro League titles. Heath won the Colorado Pro in 2006. Green in 2007, much of the time since they've been battling each other for top spots. They've finished one place apart six of the last nine times they've clashed. That includes the last two Olympias. Watching them both come face to face on stage and get in each other's personal space was intense. Number 2. Giannis Magos Slaps a Judge A professional bodybuilder has knocked a judge to the floor after losing a competition. Giannis Magos was declared the winner of the 100 kg division and reportedly thought nothing stood between himself and the 2016 IFBB Diamond Cup. However, after not being declared the overall winner, Magos went into a fit of rage. When he found out that he'd placed second overall, 
his third straight silver medal finish at the competition, he decided he'd had enough. Magos climbed off the stage and in a haze of oil and perfectly sculpted deltoids, bull rushed the judges' tables. When the master of ceremonies Armando Marquez stepped up to talk to Magos, the bodybuilder responded by hitting Marquez open-handed across the face, knocking the MC to the floor with a single stunning hit. It is well known that performance-enhancing drugs, which bodybuilders use, lead to unwanted side effects like a shift in mood, short temper, and sometimes even rage. Furthermore, when you take part in a competitive sport, that further gives you an aggressive spirit. And so, when you are in a combination of steroids and a highly competitive spirit, it is normal for your aggression to manifest, but this is not the way to let it out. Footage has emerged of the bodybuilder approaching a longtime judge and slapping him across the face. It has also been reported that Magos then threw the judge's tables and pulled out his genitals, which was not shown on video. Social media users have called for his immediate suspension, saying that Magos's actions were shameful. One person commented on Twitter, Shame on you, Giannis Magos. You're not an athlete, no sportsman. Evolution of Bodybuilding, a leading bodybuilding news website, has called for Magos to receive the harshest possible penalty. They later released a statement saying, There is no place for the actions that followed in any sport, and especially in bodybuilding. Our take? Just remember that no matter how jacked and shredded you think you are, you will always look like an idiot by going on a rampage at a bodybuilding competition when covered in spray tanner and wearing tiny blue posing trunks. Number 1. Brawl Over Deadlifting 19-year-old Charles Antoine Lalonde was at the Greenfield Park location of BuzzFit doing a powerlifting exercise known as deadlifting, in which a bar holding weights is lifted off the ground to hip level, then lowered back down. Lalonde was mid-set and caught off guard when his assailant approached, and visibly agitated, appeared to kick the barbell out of his hands and shove Lalonde against the wall of the gym, all the while yelling at him to get out. The video was posted by Tennessee-based powerlifting coach and trainer Pete Rubish, who has been working with Lalonde for about a year. Rubish, a professional powerlifter, has been coaching powerlifting online for more than four years and said he had been working with Lalonde for about a year. The man who assaulted him is not a BuzzFit employee, Johnson said, and he was not well known to staff. We had to go through video footage to identify him. Lalonde was pretty upset when he sent the video of the incident to Rubish, who decided to post it on his YouTube channel, which is followed by 67,000 people. What the gym member did to the teen was about as disrespectful a move as anyone could do. He said, it's just bullying, which is why people are so enraged. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.